Hello. Uh, I would like uh, uh, to start beginning uh, to thank the organizers to have accepted our work. Uh, as you as you see, this is a um, work made uh, um, by a lot of people and uh, a lot of experts in different uh, in different fields, and with the collaboration of different institutions to do that. Uh, so our uh, our work starts uh, from uh, uh, from this uh, uh, research aim that is to find uh, uh, quantitative and qualitative uh, elements to identify uh, the, um, the, the the plant progressing uh, um, for obtaining such stable food with uh, uh, grinding stones uh, before the uh, establishment of the uh, agriculture uh, in the Neolithic. So before the um, agriculture uh, revolution in the in, in the Neolithic, and therefore the, the object the object is to prove that the uh, plant processing uh, for obtaining this uh, starch stable food is a common practice uh, um, among uh, the uh, the first humans uh, since they uh, they arrive uh, in uh, in Europe. Uh, it's important to specify that we are not talking about uh, cereals, but we are talking uh, about uh, um, undersurface organs uh, that are uh, tubers and uh, uh, rhizomes. And uh, uh, this is uh, um, um, an organic uh, um, food that uh, um, can be uh, largely uh, found uh, all over uh, Europe, from uh, Eurasia to, uh, to, the, to North America. And is also uh, very well known uh, from uh, an ethnographic point, uh, point of view. Um, these uh, cannot be uh, cultivated and uh, grows uh, spontaneously in the, in the marshes. Uh, um, it, it's possible to use uh, uh, all the parts uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the plant, uh, but of course we are interested in the rhizomes uh, um, part. And how is uh, process this uh, this food? The roots uh, have to be uh, slightly dried, then uh, peeled, and uh, successively uh, we can uh, make the uh, pounding and threshing to obtain uh, the flour from uh, from that. And, and of course, the flour is is uh, um, a storable uh, food, uh, is uh, movable, and uh, uh, it's possible to obtain a different kind uh, of, uh, uh, of food, like for example, uh, a sort of crackers or a porridge with the adding of the of the water. Uh, so we had uh, already uh, some uh, some works that confirmed uh, our working uh, uh, hypothesis. Uh, in fact, this is, is the, the state of art uh, of, the, of the research in uh, some archaeological uh, sites uh, that are related to this, uh, to this topic. Uh, the sites that you can see here uh, confirm the use of the wear traces uh, uh, related to the processing and the pr uh, production of, uh, uh, of flour, and uh, uh, therefore our relation between uh, uh, the, the starches and uh, the use wear traces on the, uh, on the stones. Uh, as you as you can read, uh, the um, the sites uh, uh, analyzed uh, are all uh, dated during uh, the Gravitian uh, period, so uh, 30, 25 uh, um, calibrated, uh, 20, uh, 25 thousand calibrated years. Um, this uh, this topic was already published um, during uh, 2008, uh, with uh, um, the publication in particular of the uh, archaeological site of Bilancino in uh, in Italy, uh, where it was confirmed uh, that during the Gravitian uh, the plant process was uh, distributed uh, all over Europe. Uh, but um, after this, uh, we uh, we had another uh, archaeological questions. That is, uh, um, can we observe the um, production, the same behavior in uh, in a previous uh, period? So, therefore, in the Arigunasian um, period. And uh, to do that, we um, took some uh, case studies uh, to prove uh, our uh, research questions, and that are the grandi stones uh, coming from uh, the area of the uh, Don River in, uh, in Russia and uh, from the uh, from Crimea. Uh, this is the, the, the first uh, site, archaeological site of the Suren uh, first in Crimea. Uh, that is dated uh, uh, around 38, 36, uh, and 30,000 uh, uh, calibrated years. 
Uh, in this slide, you can see the rock shelters where uh, the, the stones were uh, found. Um, the, and the, uh, on the left, uh, the uh, Palo surface uh, um, always uh, conserved in the museum, uh, camera uh, Museum in uh, St. Petersburg. Um, then uh, we can see the other uh, site, that is uh, Kostenki, uh, Kostenki 14 Marquina Gora, and Kostenki uh, 16 uh, Uglianka. This uh, is a slide about uh, all the material uh, that uh, was found uh, in, uh, in Kostienki. And uh, uh, from, uh, from this slide, uh, we can see, uh, rounded with the uh, red, uh, red uh, rectangles, uh, uh, in practical, the, um, the, the pestle grinders that we uh, analyzed uh, uh, so far. All the others uh, come from uh, the same uh, places and are uh, our current uh, research and uh, also for the future, future work. Um, so as uh, I previously said, uh, this is a multidisciplinary um, uh, research uh, that involved also uh, the um, uh, implementation of integrated uh, uh, methodology in order to, uh, to reply to our research, uh, research questions. Uh, in particular, our uh, methodology is based, uh, for example, on imaging, so with the use of uh, RTI and uh, macrography. Then uh, the 3D documentation with the structural light, uh, multi-laser scanner and photogrammetry. And uh, also uh, microscopy uh, analysis, uh, um, both with light microscopy and digital microscopy and the uh, electronic uh, microscope. And uh, the uh, quality, um, qualitative analysis uh, with, uh, with Raman the spectroscopy. So uh, the collection of data um, started uh, in, uh, in St. Petersburg at the Camera uh, Museum in uh, June 2015 and uh, consisted uh, mainly on the uh, light uh, microscope uh, analysis, uh, the 3D data capture uh, with, the, uh, with an X, uh, an X engine, and also the mount preparation uh, of, the, of the stones. Uh, then the, uh, the second phase uh, was that one uh, um, of the uh, analysis uh, um, with the electronic microscope uh, that was uh, uh, done um, between the University of Florence and the Technical University of Singapore. And then finally a phase of documentation uh, between September and December 2015 at the Cyprus Institute uh, in Cyprus, uh, consisting uh, of the uh, macrography uh, documentation, uh, the digital uh, microscope, uh, the photogrammetry and the uh, 3D scanning uh, with a structured light. So um, from the beginning these, uh, these manifests uh, um, were identified as simple stones uh, and after uh, the surface investigation through a scientific uh, visualization approach uh, were uh, supposed to be used uh, as uh, grinding stones. Um, so uh, after this uh, uh, surface investigation, um, both at a, a, a macro and a micro uh, level, uh, we identified the, the following things. So at macro level, uh, the um, initial assertion um, that, that there are uh, some uh, modifications, human uh, inflicted modifications on the object uh, surface. Then uh, the uh, delineation also of the working uh, areas. And then at the micro level, we had uh, uh, the identification of the usual traces uh, and the association with the uh, searches. Uh, the uh, characterization of the um, 3D uh, shape of the used traces uh, under different magnifications. And finally, uh, the uh, isolation and description of the organic uh, material that was uh, identified. But this is a, a future work that will be uh, done uh, at the Wiesman Institute uh, in Israel, uh, of course, for the isolation and identification of the organic uh, uh, material. Uh, so we have uh, different digital uh, challenges that uh, are, for example, the, the identification 
of uh, which which, uh, which is the most suitable approach uh, for uh, scientific visualization of these uh, use graph traces and uh, the use of various methods of 3D and 3D imaging uh, uh, data capture and post-processing. Um, the integration of the analytical measurements uh, with the uh, imaging data uh, through uh, uh, georeferencing uh, and ratification mapping on the 3D uh, model. And then uh, finally, a creation of a single visualization uh, method uh, and uh, a data exploration uh, platform. So in the, in the next slides, we will see some uh, examples uh, from our um, documentation and uh, analysis. Here uh, we, um, we can see, uh, for example, the uh, visual exploration of the, of the stone surfaces uh, of the uh, Kostienki uh, 16 uh, stone uh, for detecting these uh, inflict human inflicted uh, modifications on the, uh, on the stone. Uh, this was done with the uh, RTI uh, documentation. Uh, and then also uh, the um, macrovisual exploration of the uh, of the stone uh, surface for detecting uh, detecting detecting sorry <laughs> some uh, anomalies uh, on the on the surface. Um, so as I, as I said previously, um, each, uh, each stone was 3D uh, documented uh, using uh, an X-Engine uh, laser scanner and also a Brockman uh, la uh, structural light scanner. Uh, both used at uh, the highest resolution uh, um, and uh, acquiring uh, um, the geometry but not without uh, a color uh, information. Um, then uh, each mold was uh, uh, the, the mold was realized uh, with this uh, uh, sort of silicon profile, um, and uh, was also 3D uh, captured using uh, uh, photogrammetry. And then uh, the um, 3D models uh, uh, of the uh, um, of the molds were uh, uh, virtually uh, repositioned in the in the original locations on top of the surface of the 3D models of the of the stones. Uh, but of course, all these uh, activities uh, opens a, a series of, uh, of questions, like for example, uh, uh, what kind of visualization we, we should uh, choose, if it's optimal uh, size of points, uh, um, which kind uh, um, of size of points uh, to be shown, uh, which one is the uh, optimal visualization rendering uh, needed to identify functional areas along the working surface of the stones or uh, the analysis should be done on point clouds or uh, on the meshes and so on. Uh, so here we can see some of our uh, um, tests uh, for uh, 3D analysis uh, performed in this case uh, with, uh, uh, with MeshLab to uh, identify on the 3D surface the uh, human modification and the potential uh, uh, user traces. Um, the same was done uh, for the uh, analysis uh, of the uh, rugosity of the, uh, of the stone. Um, and uh, as uh, you can see, um, the analysis compared different, uh, differences in points location along the uh, z-axis at every uh, 0.5 uh, millimeters of density. Um, the uh, blue areas are the points with a similar uh, height uh, along this uh, z-axis and uh, the red ones are the most distant. So this means that uh, the blue zones correspond uh, to the uh, areas of the stone that were flattened, so were used uh, more uh, to um, probably uh, pro pro um, produce uh, the, the flower. Um, and uh, the important thing is uh, uh, that this uh, uh, analysis uh, was uh, um, correspond to the analysis uh, performed uh, with the microscope. Uh, also in this, uh, uh, in this slide uh, we can see also the uh, potential functional areas uh, in, uh, in blue with the location uh, of the mold uh, on which the use where signs were found. Uh, and the area with major intensity of points uh, are the, the most upgraded and therefore uh, the most used. Uh, the same uh, was done for the uh, molds and uh, demonstrated exactly uh, the same uh, where the blue zones correspond to the, to the functional areas. 
Um, so we had, uh, uh, we have some, uh, um, before uh, the, the interpretation, some preliminary uh, talks, uh, talks and uh, also um, open questions uh, that are, for example, about uh, what was the original uh, granularity of the stone. This is uh, uh, not easy, but uh, could be very important uh, to, to understand. Uh, or, for example, uh, what is, what is the, the, how is the um, uh, mechanical uh, interaction between the stones and uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 the mechanic effect that, we, uh, that the human uh, impose on the, on, the, on the stone. And how uh, the, um, the human gestures and the process materials uh, influence the shape of the uh, use work traces. So this uh, will be uh, further uh, work uh, to perform uh, not only qualitative but also quantitative analysis and comparisons uh, between the geometry of the use uh, of the use traces. Uh, in the next slides, we will see some uh, of uh, our uh, analysis, so the digital microscopy evidence. Here we have the use traces uh, in 2D of the of the mold. Uh, another example of the use traces in 3D of the mold. Uh, other use were traces uh, in 3D examples. The cross section uh, uh, of the use were uh, profile. Or here we have also uh, the images uh, of the digital micros microscope investigation uh, on uh, on the on the pestle. And this uh, visible the uh, pounding uh, area uh, in the rectangle. And then uh, also uh, in 3D, this. And uh, also uh, some uh, invest uh, investigation results uh, of the electronic microscope, uh, where we uh, can see the uh, identification of uh, organic fibers and uh, organic residues uh, found on the, on the stones. Um, here also uh, the use were signs uh, on the, the mold is very clear on the uh, electronic microscope, the result. And uh, the, the remains uh, of, the, of the starch uh, identify, identified. So another important part uh, of our, our, our research uh, is uh, this uh, mosaicing uh, that we realized. So the microscopy images were rectified and uh, ortho rectified and assembled uh, together into a CAD system. And then after uh, this phase, uh, each uh, uh, magnification, so all the production of the images uh, um, with uh, the digital and the uh, CEM uh, analysis were considered as a layer and uh, uh, put uh, in the same, um, on top of the uh, authorified uh, and georeferenced uh, um, ger ger um, layers. Uh, in order to create uh, this uh, mosaic of the, of the surface. And uh, here, yes, uh, you can see also the measurements with the CEM uh, on top of this mosaic. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, uh, this, produce, uh, this, this kind of analysis produces uh, a large amount uh, of data. Uh, in this slide, you, you can see an example of just a single, a single stone. So create uh, images, uh, 3D models, uh, PTM files, and so on. A lot, a lot of, uh, uh, of data. And of course, we need to manage uh, this uh, kind of data and to describe it, this, uh, this kind of data. So our solution was to use uh, uh, Acidon CRM uh, science uh, extension uh, in our data uh, repository. Uh, this is uh, the integration of the um, uh, extension, different extension, the science uh, extension of CRM with the digital uh, one, of course, because we have also digital, uh, digital data. And this is uh, our schema and uh, the integration uh, of, the, uh, of the schema, so the ontology. Uh, so uh, here we have uh, some uh, um, uh, some conclusions uh, that uh, the curvature analysis uh, on the working surface of the granite stones uh, is an efficient tool for uh, uh, identifying uh, the modified areas, um, and uh, uh, the, the most suitable method was the cloud compare on a point uh, cloud with a roughness uh, of uh, circa 0.5 millimeters. 
Uh, then uh, the results of the uh, all the images that were um, rectified and integrated with a single coordinate system. So it's very uh, it's a novelty in, uh, in this uh, kind of uh, uh, analysis. Uh, the digital microscopy uh, proved to, uh, to be uh, the, the most efficient tool to identify and describe the use of traces, uh, both as image and as uh, 3D models. Um, of course, at this point, uh, we don't have uh, quantitative uh, and comparative uh, analysis, but it's uh, our uh, future work. And then, of course, the uh, CEDOC uh, CRM sci uh, science provides the ontological solution for the uh, semantic description in, uh, uh, within our semantic repository. And then, uh, just uh, other some, uh, some other uh, archaeological uh, conclusions. Uh, the, um, the Grinders uh, um, have a wide distribution uh, from the Atlantic coast to eastern Siberia from the ear uh, earliest upper Paleolithic cultures um, and up uh, to the modern ethnographic evidences. Uh, uh, these appear in the uh, Gravitian sites, but uh, the, the most important thing uh, we uh, could prove with our research that uh, already in the Arrhenian uh, period, uh, these uh, pestles were used for plant processing. Uh, so this means that we can uh, back, mm, mm, come back uh, dating uh, at least uh, 10,000 uh, before the use uh, of this uh, um, uh, behavior um, with the appearance of the uh, Homo sapiens uh, in Europe. Uh, and so we uh, could also um, prove the early hypothesis made by uh, Rogachev uh, in the 50s, but he had no uh, such techniques to, to prove it. And uh, of course our um, further quest is to examine, examine if uh, also uh, Musterian assemblages and sites are associated with the uh, Neanderthal presence. And of course, also uh, this means uh, uh, something uh, in the process of the uh, of the of the food uh, uh, with a change uh, in, uh, with the diet and uh, the possibility to produce uh, this kind uh, of food to be stored and to be used also during uh, the periods where it wasn't uh, available this kind uh, this kind of food. So this is uh, part of our team, and uh, thank you for the attention. Thank you.